you've got to be able to say, you know, you're in the trench and you've got to be able to turn around to your people and say, right, we're going to run that machine gun nest and mm -hmm. it's going to be okay. Just stick with mm -hmm. me. It's all going to be mm -hmm. good. Let's, we're going to climb mm -hmm. out of this trench. And, um, but, and like all those things that you just talked about, I guess feeling mm -hmm. heard, uh, that's, what, that's what then, uh, you know, people, people follow, I suppose. Yeah, and part of this is understanding their sales process. So you mentioned that they have a lot of advisors giving them information. And so part of that sales conversation is saying who apart from yourself is involved in making this decision. And if that sounds too salesy, saying I'm just really curious, how do you usually make decisions about uh, which advisor or which professional you go with? Because you want to, and you can ask that question two or three times because sometimes they're unconscious about how they go about making those decisions. But you want to know exactly who is in their ear so that you're actually having conversations with the people who are influencing that person. And, and so uh, often you, you're having great conversations, it's progressing really well, and then you get to the, the final part of those conversations and there's a blanket no and you don't understand why. And that's often because there is an, another person involved.